In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of Serif Web Plus. Serif Web Plus is a web developing software, and I'm just going to go quickly go through some of the features that you can use in Serif Web Plus, um, so that you can get websites up and running, um, and you can start creating websites. So to start off with, you open up Serif Web Plus and you click on Start New Site. There are um, design templates that you can use, but we're just going to use a simple, um, just a blank site. Now, to start off with, um, just the whole uh, the layout of Serif Web Plus, you've got your toolbar down the left-hand side, um, and then you've got your uh, pages down here, and you've you can you have access to your master page here, and then you've got a toolbar across the top. And if you want to preview your site, you've got um, a preview button which allows you to preview your site in Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or you could just preview the pages. Now to start off with, I'm going to cover the master slide. So the master slide is basically, sorry, I apologize, I, do say, I did say master slide, but I mean master page. Um, so the master page um, is, a, is a document that basically um, whenever you do anything in the master page it will copy down to the other pages um, and it's just a quick way of you having to edit each individual page so the mar uh, I'm going to create I'm gonna just going to put a title in the master slide so I'm going to use the artistic text tool here to put a title in now if you use serif draw plus or any, uh, any other of the serif um, packages then you'll be familiar with some of these uh, some of these options or buttons down here on the left hand side so I'm going to use the artistic text tool to just put a title in. And I'm just going to call it my website. Um, a very imaginative, very creative title, as you can see. So just a simple uh, title I'm going to put in. You could obviously um, change the font style, the font size, etc just using the toolbar up here, but I'm just going to keep it very straight, uh, just very simple for now. Um, so I've created this in the master page, um, and you, I know that I'm on the master page, because if, if you go down here, you can see the I, which basically um, states that I'm on the master page. Now if I want to go to my home page, I double click on the home page, and you'll see that the I has moved down to the home page. So basically the I is where you're looking. So you'll see here that I've got the title in here. Now I can't do anything, I'm trying to left click and move the, the title around and I can't do anything and that is because this has been defined in the master slide. So now if I were to create another page by simply by clicking on this plus button down here and uh, it says add a new page, you can give the page a name. So I'm just going to say about us and you can give the you can change the file file name as well so this is what the file will be named as so it, the page name will be about us and you can actually call you can change the file name as well and that's how you'll see it in windows explorer or um, a folder uh, folder browser you can just click on ok and now the eyes move to the about us page and you've got the home page and the about us page now I'm going to go back to the um, master page and uh, if you want to insert navigation you've got um, these tools down here which are just quick tools um, and you can just simply just drag this tool in here and you can insert navigation so you can choose a certain style of navigation um, there's lots of different styles you can choose um, and different colors etc but I'm just going to keep it simple and choose the first one click on OK and uh, you've got your navigation bar here so it's always best that anything that you're going to have in the actual um, on every single page it's better to do it in the master page because uh, obviously you'll have to copy and paste this into each of your pages which can take some time so it's better to put it in the master page so now I go to my home page it's in the home page you go into the about us page you, and uh, it's there as well now if you want to personalize each page you can do um, that if you wanted to so if you wanted to put a title into each individual page 
you can just click on this artistic, um, not this, um, the HTML text frame tool, and um, just say, for example, we want to put the page name. So, home page. Can't really see that well, but uh, let's change the font size so just a bit more. You can see it. So you go to home page. I'm going to copy that and then um, put that into go to the about us page, it's not there paste that and then you can put it to the same area and change the title about us so pe the, the, the users know what page they're on so home page, about us page and um, you've, got the web, you've got the master page and you won't see the page titles in the master page because um, they're created actually in the um, individual pages themselves. Now if you wanted to create a um, another page and let's just say we created a contact page where users can contact you click on OK and you've got a contact page. Now you'll see that automatically once you create a new page the uh, navigation bar automatically updates. So every time you create a page, remove a page, you can get the navigation bar to update. Um, now there are tools here, so for example you could insert a bit of flash animation, you could insert images just by dragging this in, you could insert a photo gallery. Um, so there are lots of different options here. I'm just going to close this so you can there are different options down here on the left hand side, so if you want to insert a sound clip you can do so, a video clip, flash file, YouTube, a Google map, inserted animated GIF, Java, or animated marquee which is basically um, that text that moves across the screen. There's lots of different tools you can use here, um, um, but it's all for you to have a little play around. You can insert um, forms. So uh, where, where a user could int uh, enter information on a form and if you click on the send button it gets sent to an email address. So there's lots of different tools down here you can use but it's for you to really play around with. But uh, that's just a brief introduction on using Serif Web Plus. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.